All right, hello people watching this video. This is day two of review for like the end of the year review. This is not the semester review. That packet, we will do that like three days before semester test. But this is just end of the year review. This is like going over stuff that we've done already up until this point. Uh, just stuff that I wanna make sure you know 100% before you go to geometry, okay? So this is day two. There are two sides to this paper and here is the front side. It has a big graph. The back side has three small graphs. This is going to be your homework assignment. So this is homework right here. This whole front side we're going to do, yeah, the whole back side. So 1 through 12 on the back, that's your homework. But we're going to do 1 through 6 together. This is like this is like the notes side, right? And then this is like the homework side if you need to like have that written out, okay? So we're going to do the notes together, which is the front side of this paper. Um, and then you'll turn that whole thing in tomorrow. Um, but this is solving systems of equations. So here we go. Circle that, underline that, box that. Solving systems of equations, okay? There is a couple things that are missing, and the first one is that there's a 3 right here. So in that first example, put that 3 in there because my paper hole punch got it cut off, but that is a 3. And when you're solving systems of equations, like let's look at this first thing right here, like this equation right there. If I were to graph it, what would it look like? What would that thing be if I graph it? Like if, like if I graph it over here, what would that look like? 4x oh, minus 3y equals line. 0. Uh, yeah, it's a straight line. It's a linear function. We just got done doing those yesterday. Linear functions, right? It's got an x and a y. We would solve for y and we would graph it, right? Same thing with this one. We have, would have another line, okay? And when we're solving two lines, what are we trying to look for? Their intersection, where they cross, okay? So the first problem here doesn't really have um, instructions to it, but what we're doing is we're interested to see, is this the solution? Solution, question mark? I don't know. How can we figure out whether that is the solution or where these two lines cross each other? Plug them in. Yeah, let's plug them in. To which one? The top. Can we get away with just doing the top one? No. Okay, let's do the top one. Let's see. Okay. S four, and we're going to plug wait, wait, six in for x. What? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just plug in. We'll plug six in for x, negative two in for y for that top one. Okay. So, plugging six in, negative two, this is 24 plus six. Is that equal to 30? Yeah. Yeah, that checks out. So, does this bottom one have to check out? We have to check that one also. We do have to check that one. Okay, so let's see if this one works. So 3 times x, which is 6, plus 2 times y, which is negative 2, equals 22. Let's see if that checks out. So this is 18 minus 4, minus four no. equals 22. No, 14 equals 22. Nah. So just because the first one works doesn't mean the second one's going to work, right? The no. So the answer was no. Uh, 6 comma negative 2 is not a solution, right? But that's how you check by plugging it in, okay? We're going to go in in the next examples. We're going to use three different methods of solving for the solution, finding where that place is where they cross, okay? The first one is the one that I don't like very much, and it is graphing, which is kind of a pain in the butt, okay? So we're going to graph number two, solve the system of linear equations by graphing. Again, wh what are we trying to find? What's What are we solving for? The intersection, right, where they meet, okay? Okay, where they intersect. So I need to graph this top equation. Can I graph him the way he is right now? No, no we've got to solve him for y, right? Okay, so we're going to move first. Uh, add, three. add the 3 over. Sure, let's add 3. So we have 3y equals, how do you want to write the right side? Negative 6x plus 3, right? Yeah. Let's put the x first, Negative okay? Then divide, divide by 3, right? Riley's done that, so he says y equals negative 2x plus 1, okay? Oh, yeah, so I'm going to circle that one. We're going to graph from here in a second. Can we uh, get the second one ready to go first? Sure. Let's get number two ready to go. So what would you like to move there? We're solving for y, right? Plus 2y uh, plus 1. You want to you add the 2y to the other minus side? Or you want to minus the 2x? Minus 2x. Minus 2x. You, add you can do it that way. Let's go ahead. Uh, the general consensus, let's say subtract 2x. Minus 2x. So negative 2y equals... How do you want to write the right side? Negative 2x minus, no, so minus 14. Okay, then we're going to divide by negative 2. This is better. X plus it makes everything easier. So y equals 
I'm going to write this in a different color. Y, y equals, equals X plus positive X plus 7, right? The two negatives make a positive like that, right? That's what he is, okay? So there is that. All right, we have those two equations. I'm going to go back to the top one. The negative 2X plus 1, where do we start graphing him? At positive 1, and from there we go? Down now, which way do you go 1? Right. To the right, because we want it to go downhill, right? Mm -hmm. Down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, yeah. etc., like this, right? Uh, up two over one, or up 2 to the left 1. Yep, we could do that also. That's fine, too. Okay? So there's my first, e uh, first function, okay? The next one is x plus 7. So we want to start at... Seven. Two, four, six, seven right here. And then from there we go up one over one, up one over one, or down one left one, down one left one. Aha. Woohoo. He's gonna cross in a good spot. Okay. So we're interested in finding the spot which is at I heard Reese say it, negative two comma five. Okay. Now we could check that point. Right? Because negative two, it's negative two over and five up. Yeah, negative 2, 5. Now we could check that point um, by plugging that in, again, like we did number 1 to check to see. But we're not going to because we know we're right, right? Right? Okay, otherwise we can track it. I mean, that's fine. Negative 2, 5, that's where we are looking for. Now, graphing is my least favorite because, like, it's graphing. Like, we don't like to graph. Well, Caitlin likes to graph. I, I don't like to graph. So, and another problem with graphing is if you're, like, a terrible grapher like me, or have bad handwriting, sometimes it doesn't cross at a nice place, right? Like sometimes you can't find the exact place, okay? Reese Payne, put your phone away. Yeah. Solve by substitution or elimination. So here's what's gonna happen. What letter or number is we are number on, we are on number three, and this is a two, so fix that, okay? We're number three, that is a two. So solve by substitution or elimination. I'm going to do the first one as a substitution. So number three, we're gonna use substitution. And the number four, we're gonna use elimination. Now typically you can use whichever method you want to. Sometimes the methods are easier to do one or the other. Um, but we'll do substitution on this first one, okay? Do you guys remember way back when to substitution? <coughs> What does substitution mean? To plug something in, right? So the deal is that before we substitute, we have to either get this x by itself, this y by itself, this x by itself, or this y by itself. Now, which one of those, hold on, which one of those four options is the easiest to find? The top y, right? Because it doesn't have any numbers associated with it. So we could just get that y by itself. So Riley said subtract 2x, right? Minus 2x. So I will have y equals... Let's go negative 2x uh, plus 5. Let's write it like that, okay? Negative 2x plus 5. Now, what do I do with that negative 2x plus 5? This chunk right here is going to go in for y in the bottom because that's what y is, right? So I've got negative 4x plus 6 times negative 2x plus 5 equals 12. Okay, good? Now, you're like, I don't like this. Let's not do that. All right, negative 4x, and then we got to multiply the 6 through. So minus 12x plus 30 equals 12. Ooh, it doesn't come out nice. Okay, I'm going to put the x's together first. So let's do negative 16x, and let's subtract the 30 over. So what's 12 minus 30? Ooh, now what? Negative divide by negative 16. Do you know what negative 18 divided by negative 16 is? Like 1.125. Or, like or just 18 over 16. Or 1 and 1 eighth. Yep. 1.125. Okay, now are we done? No. We got to plug in a solve for y. Where would you like to plug in? Let's do it right here. Can we do that? y equals negative 2 times 1.125 1. 1. plus 5 oh, equals negative <laughs> so this would be negative 2.25 2. plus 5 so that is negative, or no, that if positive. you give me five dollars and you uh, if positive if you owe two dollars and 25 cents and you give me a five dollar bill how much do i get back 
What? Two seventy-five. Two dollars and seventy-five cents, right? Mm -hmm. Two seventy-five. Okay, but that's what y is. We write our answer as an ordered pair: one point one two five, comma two point seven five. Now, why do I care about that point? That's where, that's, where they where they meet. that's where the two lines cross each other. Now, had I had to graph that, what are the chances of me getting one point one two five, comma two point seven five exactly by Very guesstimating high. where it's Very located? Very low. Low. Yeah, that's going to be really hard to do. So in this case, substitution or elimination would be like the option to go with. We don't want to graph that, okay? That was substitution. Now let's go to elimination. And we have this problem. And we first have to decide, do we want to eliminate the X's or the Y's? Sometimes one of them is easier than the other. But it, I don't think in this case it really matters. You have to do like one step regardless. You want to do Y's, Josie? Okay, so I have negative 3Y. And what's this number right here? One y. one y. So I will have to have them opposite. So negative three, the other one has to be? Positive, positive three. How do I get that to be positive three? Multiply by three. Okay. So I'm going to copy the top. I'm going to do 2x minus 3y. Just rewrite the top just so I have them there. Okay. And then let's multiply the bottom one through. 30x plus 3y equals 33. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Now what do we do with those two things? Cross them out. The y's out. The y's cross out, so negative 3y plus 3y goes away, right? You add them, right? Yep, yep. So what's 2x plus 30x? 32x. 32x equals? 32. 32. 32. Hey. Divide by 32, x equals 1. Yeah. See, Riley, we should have gone. There we go. Okay. Now, what would you like to do? Would you like to plug into the top equation or the bottom equation? Actually, the bottom one's easier, right? Because yeah. you're just solving for y. So 10 y times one. x plus y equals 11, right? One. One. 10 times 1 is 10, and then we subtract 10. So y equals? 1. What? So 1 comma 1 is my ordered pair, and that is where those two lines cross each other. Okay? Now, sometimes you end up with weird things, which is what the next two things are going to have happen to them. 1, 1. Yep. Sometimes you end up with weird stuff, which is what's going to happen in the next two problems, okay? Do two lines have to cross each other? Yeah. No. Do I have to have two lines cross each other somehow, some way? Yes. Like, do they have to cross? No. They can be on the same thing. Okay. All solutions. So, they can have two lines living on top of each other. Or parallel. If two lines are living on top of each other, there's infinite solutions. There's infinitely many solutions. So, this guy right here, this is where we have the same line. They're like the, just the, the same equation, but like they're living right on top of each other, right? That's infinitely many solutions because they're touching at infinitely many places, right? Okay. Now, what else could happen? What happens when there's no solutions? Like no place where they cross. Yeah, they're, the two lines are going to be parallel. So they look like this. Two lines are parallel. They're not going to touch. We would have no places where they touch, so no solutions, okay? Now we're gonna we're gonna look at what happens when we solve this and how you know by doing without graphing which one is which, right? So let's go to number five and let's solve that. Would you rather do substitution or elimination to this problem? I always like elimination better, but look at the way it's set up. We already have y solved for. It's 17 minus x. So let's lump him in down there. Yeah? Okay, so. 3x plus 3. Can we switch it around to make it negative x plus 17? You can. You can if you want. I'm sure. Sure. So negative x plus 17 goes in that spot. Sure, that's fine. E equals 51. Okay. So she, yeah. Uh, Caitlin just wanted to switch and make that negative x plus 17. That's fine. Uh, all right. Now we've got 3x. This is okay. And then let's multiply that through. So we have negative 3x plus 51. E equals 51. Okay, now what would you like to do? Subtract 51. Okay, I'm going to put the x's together, right? What's 3x oh, yeah. minus 3x? Zero. Cancels out. So I have 51 equals 51, right? Or if you want to subtract the 51, 50 what does that make? Zero, zero equals zero. zero. When does zero equal zero? All the time. All the time. Like, zero is always equal to zero. Like so there is infinitely many solutions. 
You can write it as infinitely many solutions or infinitely many solutions. Sometimes people write it as all real numbers. That means I can plug anything I want to in for x and it will work because those are literally the same equation. Okay? What does this look like? They're not parallel. They're the same line on top of each other. The same line on top of each other. It's just one line on top of the other one. They're touching in infinitely many places. Okay? But you will end up with something like 0 equals 0, which is always true, right? Or 51 equals 51, which is always true, right? Okay? All right, let's go to the other one. Take the bottom times the negative. You want to do elimination with this one, Josie says. Okay, so she wants to take the bottom one times a negative 1. All right, I'm going to rewrite the top. 3x plus y equals 4. Equals and the bottom five. one. Okay. Okay, hold on. Negative so negative 1 times 3x is negative 3x. Minus, minus y equals positive 1. Okay, now we add. So 3x and negative 3x goes away. Y and negative y goes away. So what's over on this left side? 0 equals 5. When does 0 equal 5? Never. Never. So? No solutions. Oops. You can write no solutions or you can do circle with a line through it. What does that mean? They're not touching at any places, which means the lines are no. parallel. That means they're not touching. They are parallel. To, ooh, that's a really bad line. Parallel, parallel. There we go. Okay, good. So that's what it looks like when you're doing substitution elimination to know whether it's parallel or the same line, right? Okay. Now, what happens if it's perpendicular? The sixth period class asked me this. Right that means there's a right angle, but what, what? Which one of these will that be? Neither of those. It'll just be normal. It'll just be one solution. It'll be like one of these up here, right? You'll just get an answer, right? So it'll just be a regular like dot where they cross. Yeah, it makes a 90 degree angle where they cross, but it'll just be a you know one one specific place. Okay. All right, so it tells you on each one of these which method to use, whether you're graphing, substitution, elimination, all that good stuff. Work on those for the remaining of the period. You have lots of time. Use your time to work. Yes, you can go. What? Like number one does not. I know number one. So if it doesn't come out nicely, just guesstimate where it's at. And I'm not going to judge you on whether you're exactly correct because you're just using graphing to try to do it. How much time do we have left? Uh, probably. You can. Will they let you? All right, bye people in the video.